The purpose behind a marketing campaign is to build brand awareness and at the end of the day is to generate a lot more sales, right? Now, Drip has been there for a long, long time. It has built a big community. Now we're at a stage where marketing is very crucial, but it has to be done in a very precise way. Now, today I want to talk to you guys about the latest announcement that Forex did. And I just wanted to give a few pointers and what I think is the number one thing that we need to focus on if we're going to have a successful campaign. So if you're new here, make sure to like the video, comment down below with your wallet address and subscribe to the channel because I am doing weekly airdrops. All right, guys, so let's jump right into today's video. OK, so here is what Forex said today. I just got out of a marketing meeting and we are about to start a big push. Took a bit of time to put all the pieces together, but we are ready. Now, this is very important for me, right? Because as I told you guys in the past, from a marketing background, it's very important for me to know what kind of marketing is going to be successful marketing. And the first thing that comes to mind is to look back at all the marketing that we've done for the animal farm. Uh, first of all, it was a lot of marketing leading up to a date that wasn't actually the launch date, right? So this caused a lot of investors to stay on the sidelines and not invest right away. Now, what I've learned from all these marketing um, campaigns that we've done in the past is that the target market was not the most efficient target market that we could, you know, attract. So, yes, marketing is important for exposure yes marketing um yes there's different ways to do marketing but the most important thing at the end of the day for me is to do the marketing properly because bringing brand awareness is the most important thing and generating sales is is what we're trying to do right let's not kid ourselves we need more investors to come into the project right we need eyes back onto the faucet we need eyes back on the reservoir and the animal farm is brand new but we need to keep that momentum and the way we're going to do that properly is by building a successful marketing campaign now what i believe is the number one thing that we need in order to successfully get this marketing campaign to attract new investors now, what I think is the number one thing that we need as a community to attract new investors with this marketing campaign is education. OK, now Forex has been leading the way in all these AMAs. But I think if we bring on different team members from his developer team, like whether it's the, the team leads of the drip dev team, whether it's the team lead of the animal farm dev team, whether it's the project managers, whether it's the CMO, the CFO, whoever it is, if we actually hear from these people, if they actually come on and discuss these in AMAs, discuss, even if it's with Forex, you know, if they can talk back and forth, then at that point, we can actually have a bit more confidence because as investors, we can see that the team is not actually just Forex. It's, it's actually a whole team backstage developing multiple products, hear their point of view, of these projects and what's going on and what kind of developments there are because that's going to give the impression that the team is actually more than just forex and potentially bb i'm not sure where that situation lands right now the number one thing that we need to focus on and i hope this is going to be discussed on the drip ama on thursday is education right the number one thing that I hear all the time is the animal farm is so confusing to navigate. For somebody who's not crypto savvy, not DeFi savvy, doesn't understand what a yield farm is, doesn't understand understand what a staking platform is, this is very confusing. What is dynamic supply control? What is governance model? Well, what does decentralized lending means, right? These things might be very important for a lot of new investors that have not been exposed to this kind of stuff before. Even new people in crypto space that are not even involved in DeFi. They need to understand all these things. And to be able to attract these investors and keep them on our platforms, we need to educate them. And I think a large group of people on YouTube right now is doing just that. We have the whales, like we have the stunners, we have the crypto talks, we have Ray, um, we have uh, Drip Guide. We have a bunch of these guys that are doing crazy, crazy promotion, but they have their own way of promoting, right? We have a bunch of new YouTubers like Driptopian. 
we have crypto kings we have hopefully in the future drip strategy those guys are doing a lot of youtube videos and they're also doing a lot of these amas with forex to get a different kind of target audience right and there's a bunch of new youtube channels that are probably also doing a lot of this marketing for us this is a lot of organic marketing it's from people within the ecosystem that actually love the project and love where it's headed sorry guys they love the project and they know what's it, what what it involves and we are doing a lot of this marketing like myself included we're, we're trying as much as possible to give an overview of what our strategies are how we're moving our funds around and what each section of the ecosystem is however when it comes from the team themselves they have much more experience they have much more familiarity with the contract and it's going to be a thousand times more easy a thousand times easier to discuss to a fresh pair of eyes right and the one thing that i like to keep in mind every single day when i'm talking to people what i'm explaining to people when i'm educating people is most most people have graduated from fifth grade right at that level, most people are going to understand what you're talking about. So when, for example, Forex talks about uh, like the, the animal farm for an hour, it might feel like five hours to somebody because they don't understand what's going on. Now, if you dumb it down to them, like in, a, in, in one sense, if you dumb it down to them, it might make it more digestible, easier to understand in different segments. And that's going to help keep their interest and attract them into our ecosystem a lot of people might like the gamification parts of it so focus on that for different channels you know what i mean this is the kind of stuff that i hope we're going to be discussing on thursday so so on thursday we're supposed to have a drip ama but i'm not 100 percent sure if he's going to be discussing marketing strategies for drip or he's just going to be answering a bunch of questions from the community uh, I know that he says that he um, he came out of a marketing meeting, but he didn't specify if it's an animal farm meeting or it's a drip meeting. And most probably is going to be focused around the animal farm. But I really hope and cross my fingers it has something to do with drip because yes, the price is, fa uh, is falling right now. It's not the most priority for me. I just want to accumulate as much as I can drip tokens. But we need to get some momentum back to keep the eyes and interest of a bunch of people that are sitting on the sidelines on drip. Otherwise, it's going to be very, very difficult to bring them back in and it's going to take much longer, right? This bear market is a killer, guys. Like, honestly, a bear market is a killer, but drip and the animal farm are sustaining. So, you know, I can't wait to see what's going to happen in the next few months. Now, guys, I'm not going to ramble too long here. I'm going to just hydrate and I'm going to let you guys go for the day. Believe it or not, somebody told me um, today that yesterday I left and I didn't hydrate my faucet because I'm going to actually claim and sell the drip. But I mean, if you think I'm going to do that, just look at the blockchain, put in my wallet and you'll see I'm not claiming. I'm just hydrating. And if I am claiming, it's going to be because I have to airdrop my team at the end of the week. All right, compound successful. So now we're at 2071. So a few months ago, my goal by the end of 2022, my goal by the end of 2022 was to accumulate 2000 drip. And because of the falling prices, I was able, easily able to dollar cost average my way to 2071. All right, guys. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and enjoyed my perspective into the marketing announcement that we had today. If you guys have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave it down in the comment section below. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to put in your request for the Christmas holiday giveaway, which is going to be an approximate 150 BUSD. That's going to be given at the end of this week. All right, guys, so have yourself a great Wednesday, and I'll see you guys in the next one.